Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between spur gear and helical gear. When axes of driver and driven shafts are parallel and gear teeth are also cut parallel to the gear axis then it is called as spur gear. So it is suitable for transmitting power between two parallel shafts only. On the other hand, helical gear can be used for transmitting power between two parallel shafts. In case of helical gear, the teeth are cut in the form of helix on the pitch cylinder of the gear blank. Thus teeth makes an angle, called helix angle, with the gear axis. So, let's look into the basic differences between spur gear and helical gear in a tabular form. Difference number 1, in case of spur gear, teeth are parallel to the axis of the gear, whereas, in case of helical gear, teeth are inclined with the gear axis in the form of a helix. This angle of inclination is known as helix angle, which is 15 to 25 degrees. Number 2, in spur gear drive, contact between teeth of two meshing gears occurs suddenly, whereas, in helical gear drive, contact between teeth of meshing gears occurs gradually. Number 3, in spur gear drive, the contact between two meshing teeth is always a line of same length, whereas, in helical gear drive, contact starts with a point, gradually becomes a line and leaves as a point. Number 4, in spur gear drive, sudden engagement of teeth results in impact loading. So teeth are subjected to impact loading, whereas, in helical gear drive, due to gradual teeth engagement, load on the tooth builds up gradually. So teeth are subjected to gradual loading. Number 5, in spur gear drive, impact loading caused by sudden engagement of teeth results vibration and noise, whereas, in helical gear drive, gradual loading provides a smooth and quiet operation. Number 6, in spur gear drive, load carrying capacity of spur gear is comparatively low, whereas, in helical gear drive, for same size and same number of teeth, Load carrying capacity of helical gear is comparatively high as larger number of teeth remains in contact at any instance. Number 7, life of the spur gears is usually shorter, whereas, helical gears have longer life. Number 8, two mating spur gears must have same module only, whereas, two mating helical gears must have same module, and same but opposite hand helix angle. Number 9. Spur gears are suitable for low to moderate speed applications, whereas, helical gears can be utilized at high speed also. Number 10. Spur gear drive produces only radial force. As the teeth are parallel to axis, the thrust force is zero, whereas, due to presence of helix angle, helical gear drive produces radial as well as thrust force. So the bearing must be capable of sustaining such thrust force. And, difference number 11. Spur gear drive is suitable for the velocity ratio of 1 is to 1, to 1 is to 3, whereas, helical gear drive is suitable for the velocity ratio of 1 is to 1, to 1 is to 5, 